Okay, this is like the fifth time I record this. And let's see if this one goes well. The last time I was recording it, the nurse just walked in. So, okay. Um, thought I'd share with you guys that I did, like, obviously, okay, I'm in the hospital. For those of you who don't know why, I have leukemia, um, ALL. And I've been in the hospital for over a month. And so finally, like, my hair started falling off. So, like, we just went, go ahead and, like, we shaved it off because it was not cute. So, I thought I'd share that with you guys, but I have to take my clothes. But, um, yeah, I wanted to thank you guys, like, so much because, like, for all your, like, prayers and messages that you guys have been sending, and they, like, mean so much to me because, obviously, like, no one really expects to get cancer or anything, and, like, you feel, like, I don't know how to explain it, like, pretty much, like, why me, like, how did this happen, and I don't know, like, I know I'm not the, the first person in the world to get cancer, I'm not the last person in the world to get cancer, and it's something that pretty much isn't preventable, and, um, I was depressed, like, so bad, like, like, I don't even know, like, when my hair started falling off, I was just like, oh my god, like, I thought I was gonna die, like, like, my hair, like, pretty much meant everything to me, like, yeah, but then I see, and then it's just like, it's not everything, it'll grow back, um, but everyone's prayer, prayers did have an impact because I did get good news. Um, yesterday, okay, Tuesday, I had a bone marrow biopsy, and um, it was supposed to come back clean in order for me to continue with my chemo. And yesterday, the doctor came by. He said it came back clean. So that means I get to continue with chemo. And I started my new chemo today, but every day, every morning, I take chemo steroid pills that are really disgusting. <laughs> um, they're, like, so disgusting, but, yeah, I, I got my new chemo today, and they're just shots and stuff, and um, everything's going good right now, like, like, as planned, like, well... Yeah, well, like, everyone had, like, you know, everyone was hoping and praying that it would come back clean, and, um, it did, so I'm pretty happy, which means I'm continuing with chemo, and then after this chemo is done, I have to have another bone marrow biopsy, and hopefully that one come back, come, that one comes back clean, and then if everything's okay after that, I get to go home, so within, like, three to four weeks, I get to go home, and which is good because I've been in this hospital way too long. Everyone knows me and it's just insane. So I'm like so happy. But hold on. But yeah, it's because the nurse just came in and gave me those pills. But um, yeah. Um, I'll still have chemo for two years, um, but I'll be able to go home, so I'm fine with that, like, seriously. Um, there is one person specifically that I would like to thank, and hold on, I don't want to mess up her name. Shannon R414. Okay, I didn't get that wrong. Shannon R414. She 
has a daughter. She's an amazing person. Like, um, I don't even know where to begin. She wrote to me and she just helped me through a lot. Like, um, her daughter like went through cancer and so she knows this. She knows like specifically like what happens and stuff and me like not knowing anyone in the world like specifically personally that has cancer had that or that has gone through cancer um she was the only one that i was writing to that for advice for questions and stuff like that and she would like give me like encouraging words like all the time and i mean she helped me a lot like seriously like thank you so much um that's just like something she didn't have to do you know she could have been like ew like whatever but she wasn't she was so nice and sweet and thoughtful and kind and encouraging she like she lifts you up like when i was down she would like lift you up <laughs> like i don't know but thank you so much like seriously um yeah i'm just really excited like I don't know. I'm excited. <laughs> but I just wanted to share with you guys that little update and that. Yeah. And thank you guys again. Like very, like, very, very much. So I think I'll stop boring you guys because I don't know what else to say. So thank you guys again.